What uh, part of Pasadena are you in? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the second annual Yucca Valley Film Festival. We are very happy, we are very excited to be with you tonight. And uh, we're going to talk movies and we're going to kick off the festival. So the festival started in 2019, last year, and this is the second edition we're going to have. Uh, we received 243 films and submissions this year. So we are very happy because it's almost the same number than last year, which means the festival is attracting filmmakers, is attracting talents. And we are very happy to screen these talents and these movies. How is it going to work? Basically, for three days, the festival, we're going to have the screenings of the films are going to be on Zerb, Zerb.tv. You have the link on, uh, at the bottom of the screen. This is where you're going to have ac you're going to access all the films, short films, feature films, music videos, all the categories, all the films are going to be on Zerb. When we're going to be talking, when we're going to have a discussion, when we're going to have a panel, when we're going to ask questions to the artists and the filmmakers, this is going to be right here on Facebook, YouTube, and the Duke of Valley Film Festival website. The easiest way to join us is to come on you on Facebook and uh, to see the video live and to connect with us. You have the comment section on Facebook. You can just say whatever you want. Be nice, of course. Uh, and if you have questions for the filmmakers, if you've seen a movie and you want to you want to know how they did this, you want to know how they made the film, you, you're going to be able to use to post a comment on Facebook, and we're going to receive right here in the digital studio. We're going to receive all the comments, and we're going to moderate the comments. So you have to be nice, and we're going to ask the questions to the filmmakers. Tonight, what's going to happen? We're going to have four guests tonight. We're going to have Sue Ernest, who's the community, community service manager at the town of Yucca Valley. We're going to discuss a little bit uh, the, uh, the festival in itself. We're going to have a video of the mayor, Jeff Droz. And then we're going to have three more guests, three filmmakers that have films screening in competition this year at the festival. So don't forget, you can ask your question, you can be part of it, you can just leave a comment, YouTube or Facebook, and you can also ask your question live. I'm gonna welcome right now, she's backstage waiting for, waiting. Uh, we're gonna welcome Sue Ernest. Sue, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, thank you. Perfect, very happy to have you and very happy to see you digitally because with everything that's happening, we didn't have the chance really to catch up since quite a bit. Yes, it's been a while. It's a little challenging, but it's good to see you. It's good to be here this evening. Absolutely. So um, you are community service manager to the town mm -hmm. of Yucca Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean for the filmmakers and everybody tuning in uh, who want to know about the festival? What's your job? Uh, my job with the town of Yucca Valley is I oversee a different divisions, uh, recreation, uh, the High Desert Nature Museum, and also some facility use. Uh, so uh, my department executes all of the large scale events uh, and the small scale events, um, but all of the programming for the town of Yucca Valley that is classified as quality of life. So that would include the summer music festival, all okay. of our holiday celebrations, um, and, and those types of programs. So we were, of course, just thrilled at last year's inaugural film festival, and it was so well received and so much fun. Um, it was so much fun. It was really it, cool. It we was had really... it. It was. We had a red carpet. We had yeah. a lot of movies screening, and we had a lot of people showing up. Yes, it was terrific, and you know, I think that's. Uh, we we didn't want to forego that this year, right? So Absolutely. I think yeah. there's still a way. I mean, last year we were able to create, uh, fulfill our goal, 
create a signature event that both our residents and visitors can enjoy. Um, and this year, you know, even though we have more challenges, um, it's we sort of saw it as even more important that we provided uh, the community and our special guests an opportunity to come together and enjoy these films and have this have this time to to get together. We all kind of need a break with what our it's, happening it's and true. we are just excited and happy to provide that break with the film festival. Yeah. We're going to have many movies. We're going to have more than 40 movies and artists uh, screening and talking with us. We have comedies. We have dramas. We have horror films. We have animated films. We have music videos, experimental movies. Uh, we have so many categories. We have drone movies. It's a new category yes. this year. We have movies mm -hmm. with drone. So what was, for example, what was uh, one movie you remember from last year, one movie that kind of got you? Uh, well, you know, um, I, I voted for Little Victories and it won, okay. so that was one of my favorites. But I also like, I, I like to peek behind the curtain and yeah. I like those, uh, the script writers round table and kind of the, like I'm excited about the AMA with William Baldwin. Um, I like to, you know, I'm used to watching movies and I'm a big fan, but I love hearing about What's going on, you know, in the background? What does yeah. everyone do and how it's, do they put uh, all together? You and I, we are in a position that's kind of excited, like exciting because we get to make this happen. So we yeah. see what, what's happening backstage and we see the results. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. We have the mayor tuning in with us, Jeff Droz. Hi, Matt and Sue. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Jeff is not in town tonight, but he's with us uh, in the comments. And I've seen a few comments already uh, popping in, uh, popping up on the screen. So keep leaving comments. We really appreciate it. It was a ple such a pleasure. I lost this one. Hi, Sue. Nice. Leslie says hi. <laughs> okay. Hi, Leslie. Enjoy some movies. I have my popcorn and my candy already. And we have someone who was there last year for the red uh -huh. walk to the red carpet. It was very nicely put together. Thank <laughs> you. And See you 2021 for the new red carpet for the UK Validation Festival. We're not going to stop. <laughs> so we had to say everything is free. So every movie we're going to have at the festival is free. You have to go on the Zurb platform, zurb.tv slash channel slash YVFF, UK Validation Festival. Uh, you have to use your email to uh, create an account. You, see, you sign up. It's free. Just an email. You create a password. After that, you are going to arrive on the film festival uh, website, film festival page. We have a page and every screening, every movie is listed in order they're going to screen. So what you have to do once you have an account, you just have to click on register. And that means you're going to receive an alert and a notification before the screening starts. So that's very simple. It's free email. You create your own password and then you register for any movie you want to watch for free. Well, I think we are off to a very good start. Uh, it's been 10 minutes already we've been talking. We talk too much. Um, keep leaving comments. Keep, uh, keep telling us how you feel, and uh, we want to we wanna hear about you. Uh, thank you, Sue. Thank you so yes. much. Uh, we're going to screen the, the welcoming word of the mayor of Yuki Valley, and then we're going to be back with you. Hi, this is Jeff Drozd. I'm the mayor of Yucca Valley, and welcome to the second annual Yucca Valley Film Festival. Um, we're going to have a great festival this year. It's going to be online, so you can invite your family, you can invite your friends, and you can watch it at your leisure. This is going to be a great event for everybody to watch. Last year's was a total success, and this year's will hopefully be even better and bigger, and we'll have more attendees. So welcome to Yucca Valley and welcome to the second annual Yucca Valley Film Festival. Thank you, Jeff. I know Jeff is watching the show, so he's watching the show and watching himself as we speak. So that's kind of cool. Thank you for recording that video. Thank you for everyone who, had, who helped us put together this video and this uh, film festival. We really love it, Oregon and I. We really love making this happen. Um, tonight we're going to have two movies. We're going to have the short film, The Music Box, and then we're going to have the feature film, Sweet Sunshine. So when we're done with this opening kickoff stuff, you got to go on Zurb and you're going to sign up, register, and watch the two first films. 
after the two first films, around age 45, we're going to be back on Facebook live and we'll be with all the actors and actresses of the movie Sweet Sunshine. And you're going to be able to ask them all your questions. And because you've just been watching the film, it's going to be very easy to connect with them and to ask anything you want to know about the film. The movie's great. Do not miss it. We're going to have with us right now our three guests of the night. We're going to have Cy Rosen, who won twice last year with um, the movie Little Victory that Sue just mentioned. We're going to have Nick Luciano, who won the Audience Vote Award last year with Very Neat and Zach. And we're going to have Michael Schilf, who's a newcomer, who's someone who's going who's to have a film screening at the film festival this year. And we're going to spend about 15 minutes with them to discuss uh, their film and to see what they have to say. So, Sai, welcome. Nick, Hi. welcome. Michael, welcome. How are you guys? Hey, doing, doing great. Thank you for this wonderful welcome here. Thank you. Michael, how are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Great to meet welcome. you guys. Sai, how are you? Everything's good. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you for joining us. Um, we basically, we wanted to have you guys tonight because we wanted to have Sai and Nick because you've been selected guys last year. So you are kind of representing the smooth transition from 2019 to 2020. So that's, that's on you guys. And Michael, you are a new one in the network. Welcome to the UK Valley Film Festival. You have a movie named The Fixer starring Danny Trejo. And um, let's start with you. So this movie with Danny Trejo, uh, how did you manage to convince him to make a short film with you? <laughs> that's an excellent question. And, 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 and um, it's what everybody wants to know. Um, well, originally when I, when I was writing, sometimes when I write, um, I don't have a particular actor in mind, but, um, but in this particular case I did. And the Danny Trejo character is uh, uh, Benicio uh, Benny Sanchez, and he's a, uh, a supporting character. And I did not have a particular um, actor in mind for any of the other roles, but definitely I was thinking of Danny Trejo the whole time. When I finished the script, um, you know, I didn't really ever have, I didn't expect to, to get him, but if you don't try, um, you're already failing. So I went to my, my representation and I said, um, Hey, let's try, let's see if he, he might be interested. Um, because Danny Trejo, he's a, you know, an A-list actor, but he's also a brand. Anyone that, that lives yeah. in LA knows, I mean, Trejo's Tacos, Trejo's Cerveza, you know, Trejo's Cerveza. Donut. So, and, and the yeah, guy, yeah. The and the accent and, and he's he's a brand you're right absolutely you you know anytime you, you say his name people think either tacos or machete right yeah. but i was not really expecting him to say yes but fortunately i do have representation and that's really the only way to yes, reach sir. out to a less talent okay so yeah. um it took about five weeks of of a courtship between the gatekeepers, uh, my manager, his agent, his agent, my manager, back and forth. But at the end, um, it really came down to one thing. It was the script. The he script. loved the, yeah, he loved the material. He loved the character. Don't say um, too much. Don't say I won't too say much, much but I, 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 I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, however, let me just say that I, uh, that Danny Trejo's character plays off type. So if you're used to seeing him with guns and machetes, you're going to see him in a very different way. And, and I felt that that was, uh, yes. I wanted to give him an opportunity to play something different, you know, and, um, for him to do. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was awesome. He said, yes. And the, the only problem that I had was when you get talent like that, uh, the original budget was a particular budget. We got Danny Trejo and then it tripled. So now as a producer, I had to make the decision, yeah. say no to A-list talent or say yes and find more money. Yeah. So I said yes. Michael, don't say too much because we want to have you back for the panel. Okay. The yeah. film. So all this you're going to say tomorrow uh, evening. This is just an introduction. Keep the suspense running for tomorrow. Okay. Um, Sai, you had a movie last year. The, the title was Little Victories. It was yeah. kind of the only movie last year that won twice. So yeah. you are I back. I've it both times. Yeah, both times. So uh, I guess you like us in a way, and you came back with a new film. Yeah. Yes, I did. And this film is, uh, again, dealing with another chapter in my mom's life. 
five years earlier. And uh, we were lucky. We had a very good cast, too. I mean, um, we have Barbara Bain, who was in the original Mission Impossible. Uh, Robert Romanos, who I don't know if anybody's, if you guys know Fast Times at Ridgemont High, but he played Damone in, in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, the guy who got the girl pregnant and uh, whatever. And, 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 and Rhea Perlman from Cheers. We were very lucky to get her. So that was a really, uh, it's a good cast and we're very happy. Yeah. And again, uh, I got to say, you are not the director of the film. You are the no, I'm not. Leonora Pitts is the director. She's a wonderful director. So to, to, to uh, connect with what Michael just said, uh, at some point, if you want to get good cast, you got to have a good script, and you are just living proof of that. The script was good. It also helped that Leonora was friends with uh, Rhea Perlman. So, and we we got her for the minimum. I mean, she just agreed to do it. So we were, we were very lucky about that. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Nick, Nick, you made a movie last year that was very Nick and Zach. That's yes. two friends having some sort of a discussion uh, in, uh, I wouldn't even know how to describe it, but I would say it's very entertaining and very funny. And you made a sequel of that film. And we we meet again with these two friends and they are still having another discussion and that's still out of the box. Oh, yeah, that's what it feel, feels like to you? Feels very out of the box? Uh, kind of, yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah. The, tone, the tone of the film and the way that you describe friendship with two, between two men is just, it's refreshing. Mm, that's cool. That's really cool to hear. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we uh, last year we had the privilege of screening our, our short that we shot over at uh, Kitchen in the Desert in 29 Palms. In 29. Where I... Where, uh, I wanted to take a photo at, at this restaurant with my friend Zach, and um, then he doesn't want to take the photo, and our our and then my feelings get hurt, and we kind of really get into it about yeah. it. And uh, um, in this this film that we're showing tomorrow night in the shorts block, uh, is it, yeah, it kind of exists in the same the same world. These two these two guys who just kind of have this earnest conversation. So. Yeah, excited to share it. We have uh, we have a little bit of time left. So what I want to do is I want to show a small clip of each of the three films you have, guys. So uh, we're going to take time to do that, and we're going to start with let's start with a dark one. Let's start with the fixer. You have taken something that doesn't belong to you. choice. This. This is your consequence. So, Michael, that's you. That's the movie you made. Uh, <laughs> what would you say um, to the people in Yucca Valley to tell them to sign up, register to watch the film? What are they going to see? Well, they're going to see a, a crime thriller with a little bit of levity. Um, what I think is really, I think what, the best part of the film is if you love crime, if you love thriller, uh, and a little bit of action. I mean, it's definitely a genre film, but um, I, it was calculated by design to make sure that there were moments of levity. I wanted there to be, uh, right when you feel like you're about ready to crawl out of your skin, um, I pull back and we get it to have an opportunity to have a breath and maybe even a laugh. So I think um, you'll enjoy the genre, but you'll also be a little surprised stylistically with some of the directoral choices. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I like it. I appreciate the pitch. I, I want to I wanna see the movie again now. I want to watch it again. 
Thank you. Perfect. Again, I don't want to say too much because I, I'm going to have you guys back for the panels for the movie. So if you want to watch the, the Fixer with Danny Trejo, directed by Michael, you got to go on Zerb, the platform zerb.tv slash channel slash YVFF. You got to sign up, an email, you create your password, and then you register. All the films, all the block of movies are listed. And you just got to register to everything or just the ones you want. Sai, yes. you have the matchmaker. So the matchmaker, like you said, is kind of uh, the same same vibe, the same genre yeah. of the little victories you had last year. So we are just going to show a small clip of it. So people are going to understand what it's about. And then sure. we're going to talk a little bit about it. Are you her son? Yeah. Yes, I am. Uh-oh. Could be the beginning of alls. That's Alzheimer's for you slow people. It shouldn't have bothered Sam. He was pretty sure it wasn't catching. Wasn't <laughs> oh. But you can't be oh, too careful. Oh. What is oh. Just do it. And he heard that to fight Alzheimer's, you need plenty of mental stimulation. Did you get your hair done? No. <laughs> you should. Oh. <laughs> so Sam started looking for someone his mom could talk to about important, stimulating things. He may have been too picky and got a little crazy, but he was looking for someone for his mom. Agnes over there was very sweet, but he was sure she poisoned her three husbands. Okay, so the people who watched, who've seen the little victories in 2019 last yes. year, are going to recognize the style of it, and it's right. It's not a sequel at all. It's a very different movie, but still, it's a it's the same theme, the same topic. Can we say that? Right. Yes, it's uh, if possible, it's a joyful, hopeful film about Alzheimer's. So uh, it's, but it's, yeah, we, uh, it, it's the same area. Absolutely. It's another chapter in my mom's life. Yeah. So Little Victories was inspired by your mom's life and this one is too? Yes, absolutely. This is, this is a real, ex just like Little Victories was a real experience. This is a real experience, which of course I took some liberties with, but yes. So are we, gonna, are we going to see you in 2021 with like the new the new third movie of the well, trilogy? Well, we, we started to we we were all set to shoot another film uh, with uh, it was uh, Flora uh, meets Death, and uh, Eric Roberts was set to star, and uh, the pandemic came, so we put it on hold. And uh, but it was another chapter. Yeah, yeah, it was another chapter in my mom's life. Yeah, that's very cool. Where she out with Death. Yeah, yeah. Same. If you want to watch uh, the matchmaker, uh, it's uh, it's surprising. It's light. It's funny. And there's a twist. There's something that I didn't expect watching the film. And uh, I see the comments coming uh, coming in. Happy to be there. Uh, cool, Carrie. How are you? I've seen someone when we uh, showed the trailer of the fixer who was saying that the music was very cool. Love the intense music. Makes you want to tune in. Cool, that's awesome. Keep um, asking, uh, keep using the comment section. We're gonna show them. Uh, and if you have a question, anything you wanna know tonight or tomorrow or Sunday, every time we're gonna have a live session, you're gonna be able to ask your own questions. And Sue mentioned in the beginning, we're gonna have William Baldwin tomorrow, 3 p.m. We're gonna screen the movie with William Baldwin on Zerb. And then on 3.30 p.m. we're gonna be there live on Facebook with William Baldwin. We're going to talk about the movie, the short movie he's starring in. And after that, we're going to spend an hour with William Baldwin. And we're going to talk about Backdraft, Gossip Girl, uh, Born on the Fourth of July, all the big movies and TV shows William has been starring in. And you're going to be able to ask your questions to William Baldwin live. And we have Oregon backstage running through all the comments and reading everything and she's sending it on the screen uh, whenever it's cool, funny, interesting, or I don't know, unexpected. So keep doing that, we really appreciate it. And that's what's gonna make this festival digital, but interactive with you and we wanna make it for you guys. Um, Nick, 
So you have, I said, a movie that I find very cool, kind of out of the box. Um, are you going to make another one like that? Are you, same question then, Sai, in 2021, are we going to see like the third uh, movie of the trilogy of Very Nick and Zach? I, I, I hope so. I've been thinking about that, actually, and like knowing that we're doing this, so like Zach and I definitely have to have to shoot something else in, in the yeah. Upper Valley area that kind of coincide, coincide, coincides in the same world for sure. Absolutely, that could become yeah. kind of a rendezvous for the UK Valley Film Festival uh, lovers. I would sure, like. sure, we would be honored. Yeah, let's yeah. take a look at, uh, we came to, we uh, cut a sh short clip of the film, the new one, so people okay. are gonna see what it's about. Great. You don't even have to do anything, but just be you and you're making a contribution to the world. And I'm so grateful for our friendship thank you are you dying no because like you just said a lot out of nowhere it was a compliment it was a long compliment it was me practicing saying nice things to my friend zach i i just love it so that's <laughs> really funny this is a guy, this is you, that's making compliments. Or let's say he's trying to express his feelings to his best friend. Yeah. But it makes the friend so uncomfortable that it creates situations that you just, I don't know if I, if I find it highly relatable mm. or highly not relatable, but it very much works with me. So how do you write these situations? Is it, is it from your own experience? Yeah, actually, yeah. This this was from a, a real experience. I think I think I like accused Zach in real life. Like that's his. Oh my his God. Too. I think I accuse him in real life of not being able to receive compliments, and then he kind of got annoyed by me. And then we were we were performing at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in Los Angeles. And we actually wrote this scene out like live together and just like, oh, let's see what this feels like if we perform the scene based on this real experience. Um, uh, so that's real. So that means you really are like that, like dropping long monologue of compliments to, to everybody or your friends at least? Sure, I mean, we, could, we could try it right now. Matt, I think that, you know, you're doing a really great job running this this film festival. You know, you're going so far, and I hope that you can feel good about everything you're doing. All these technical things that are happening in the festival right now, you are running it exactly how it needs to be happening right now. And I, I hope that you know, at the end of the night, you're feeling <laughs> you're doing a really good job because because you are. And you can see, just like in the movie, he's making a live, real demo of the film. He doesn't, stop. he doesn't stop. You cannot make him stop. That's just crazy. So if you want to watch, um, uh, the title is Nick and Zach Desert Day. That's it? Yeah, hi, hi Desert Day. We're playing around with maybe eventually, like we might, the final title actually just might be Compliment Bros. Uh, very oh. Nick and Zach Compliment Bros. But yes, it's very Nick and Zach. High Desert Day on the so short. If you, wanna, um, if you want guys to watch this film, it's gonna be uh, Saturday. You have to you have to go on Zerb and you have to sign up, create a password, and then you know what? Let's do it right now. We have uh, still a couple minutes, so we're gonna do it live to show you guys how simple it is. Okay, right here. So you see you see what I see. I'm on Google. I'm going to type derp.tv. Okay. I'm going to do this so I can this see is, what this, I do. this is a great demonstration. I really love thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Compliment yeah. me. I need that. Okay. You go. You arrive on the Zerb website. Okay. So I want to I wanna sign up. Um, so you go to sign up. You create. You put down your email. You um, put down the name you want to be. So I'm Matt, so I'm going to put Matt like this. Oh my God. Okay, and then I'm going to create a password. On my, on my case, I've been doing that already. I have an account. So what I'm going to do is log in. You can put it in first of all. Okay.
you log in and you arrive, you are in the website. This is what you're going to see. So what you do is you type Yucca Valley, you go there, and this is the page of the Yucca Valley Film Festival on the platform Zerg. So if I scroll down, you have Happening Now. Happening Now are all the movies that are released already. So if I want to register, I go there, I click register, or I click watch now. So if I go here, I'm going to be able to watch that video now. And because it's 701, that means the opening movies of the UK Valley Film Festival have just been released. So if I want to watch the film, I click on watch. This is the opening movie, the music box. You have the description and the synopsis and the pitch and the name of the director and everything. And then you have Sweet Sunshine and you can basically just watch the film. So that's going to be very easy for you guys. Just um, create, um, you put your email and then you create a password and then you're going to be accessing all the movies. So if you want, uh, it's going to be day by day, and you're going to be able to see all the films anytime you want. What you have to know is all the films, for example, Sweet Sunshine, it's available right now. So you have to watch it. You have to start watching it because we're going to be back in one hour and a half to discuss with the cast and crew. If you want to, uh, if you want to watch it, I don't know, next week, the movie is going to stay online through November 22nd because you can vote for the film of your choice. You can vote for your favorite film. So you gotta watch the films and then go on the UK Valley Film Festival website, fill the form that we're gonna put on the front page, and you're gonna vote for one film, only one, the one you prefer. So if you have any questions, send us an email, UK Valley Film Festival at gmail.com. And uh, we're gonna have to leave you there because now you have to go watch uh, the music box in Sweet Sunshine because we're going to be back after the movies to talk with, uh, with the actors. Guys, thank you so much for being with yes. us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we're going to see thank you, you back again um, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, for the panel, uh, Saturday evening. You're going to be back. And then we're going to go into the details of making the movies. And I hope, I want you guys to send questions. So we can ask questions to the guys who are taking the time to be there with us. So everybody, you go on Zerb and you watch Sweet Sunshine, and then you come back on Facebook to go back with us with questions about the movie. The last thing I'm gonna say is uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna have documentaries and uh, we're gonna close, we're gonna wrap up this, uh, start with a trailer. We're gonna give you the trailer of The Iron Duck, which is one of the two documentaries we're gonna screen tomorrow morning. Guys, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you. It was very much an experimentation. I mean, you have no idea how this boat is going to handle it. You have no idea what it's going to do when you, you get going 50 or 60 or 80 or 100. I made the comment, you know, this boat would break the record, but not with my ass in it. Bob and I developed and sailed what became the fastest sailing craft of the world. It's, it's built in a garage. It's built by two guys that were best friends, that were sailors as well. We're trying to do something that hadn't been done before. We're trying to do something we had relatively little experience with. Well, the, the iron duct is, is a steel frame. Fiberglass, hardwood, and a bunch of parts off a few old Volvos. And uh, with no brakes and all the joints are covered with duct tape. You know, the boat is old, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, the legacy of the Iron Duck will not die. Continues on to this day.